Hey guys, this is a quick video to walk you through the scoring process uh, for the college award applications. So you are watching a video now on the home screen. If you can't remember the process after you've watched the video, I do have a little quick start guide down at the bottom so you can come back and read it if you need to. Um, I'm going to dive right in. The only tab that you are going to use is the grades tab. That's it. We're just using the speed grader in here to score. So if you click on that grades tab, what you'll see is every person on the committee has five columns. Um, each column represents one of those college awards. So you can see Leah Armstrong um, has her five columns here. Each column is a different award. So all you'll do when you click on the gradebook is scroll over and just find your five columns, right? So Tina, for example, she would scroll over and here are her five columns. They have her last name at the start of them. And then all you'll do um, is you'll click on the very top of that column. This is for that particular award, the Cephas Award. Um, if you click on it, it'll tell you a little about that award. So it basically tells you what the award is, um, some of the stipulations for being able to apply for that award. Um, and then you can just jump right into the speed grader and it'll show you any applications that you need to grade. So there are actually only two awards for this, two applications for the Cephas Award. Um, and here's our first one. If you pull up the rubric, here are all of the criteria that we use when we score. So you can see the first one is 12 credit hours minimum. Um, I've already checked every application to make sure that students have the appropriate GPA and the appropriate credit hours. Um, for credit hour, you can see that there are no points for that. If they did not meet the criteria, I've already sort of X'd them out by giving them a zero in the grade book. Um, so you'll start with the GPA. Um, all of the GPAs are correct here, so um, you'll look for the GPA. The student has a 4.0. Um, and so if you come over in the rubric, you can see here is a 4.0. You'll click on it, and it will automatically assign those points over here at the end, 30 points. Um, and you'll just kind of move down. So the next one is community service and the rubric is really vague and broad. So it's 15 points total for community service. Um, and so I just have it in, divided up into 15, 10, and 5 points or no points. Um, you obviously can award anything in between there. So anything from 0 to 15, you don't have to use this. Um, it's just a really easy way to do it. Okay. But you'll go through that rubric um, and assign points based on how you think students did in the application. Um, and then once you're finished, make sure you save your rubric. And you'll type your score up here. So actually, um, if you look at your rubric at the very bottom, it'll tell you how many points um, you awarded that student. And you'll just type it in um, up here so that it calculates in the grade book. So it's pretty easy. Um, and then you'll move on to the next student and you'll do the exact same thing. Um, so you'll view the rubric, you'll go through that process. Um, if I go back to the grade book, you'll notice that you don't have very many applications to score. Um, so the Cephas Award has two. There were three in the James Award, but um, two of those students either didn't meet the GPA requirement or the number of credit hours at Shelton State. Um, and so the most we have is the Sumner Award with only four applications. Um, and a lot of students applied for more than one award. Um, so that'll make your job pretty easy. So this should be really quick and easy and painless for you. Um, the only way, the only time we'll need to have a meeting is if there are maybe two students within one award, let's say for the Sumner, Sumner Award, let's say two students are really close, um, we may have to Zoom and hold a tiebreaker. 
but otherwise um, we'll t I'll tally these up when y'all are finished and I'll shoot you an email and let you know who won in each of the categories. Obviously reach out if you have any questions um, or you get lost or confused. Um, thank you all so much for everything that you do working on this committee. I know that um, it's always at the last minute and it's always at the worst time, the end of the semester. Uh, this this time you only have one week, so I need y'all to get these done by next Wednesday, which I think is April 28th, um, by one o'clock, because I have to have these names into Channing by the end of the day. Uh, so if you can get them done by then, that is fantastic. Again, thank you for everything that you do, and let me know if you have any questions.